Hello, I'm James Preston and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks, a 20 minute focus on James. James is a financial services technology company that offers a revolutionary automated online trading application. James makes calculated trades on behalf of the users by automatically analyzing and predicting trades using a sophisticated artificial intelligence algorithm. And to tell us all about the finer points of James, founder and CEO Tui Eroera joins me now. Tui, welcome to CalKind. Hi James, thanks for having me. Well, Tui, great to have you here. Now I've given a little bit of a breakdown of the company, but in your own words, what exactly is it that James does? Uh, James is an uh, AI automated trading application that allows investors to use the power of AI to help with their investing decisions. And simply all you do is you create an account, but then you connect your preferred broker partner, whoever that might be. And then James will do uh, generate recommendations using the AI and then automate the buying and selling with your broker. Well, okay, so it's pretty much you just put in your money and you watch it go. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, Because what we've found out is that, you know, everyone's short on time, um, Mm. the ability to analyze all the the immense amount of data. So we use AI to do all that for you and automate that process, saving you time and money. Yeah, sounds wonderful. Now, you've also recently released James 2.0. What are the new features as part of the update? Yeah, so we started launching James 2.0 about a month ago, and we're just about finishing the rollout, which ends at the end of this month. Um, The key changes we've made so far is that we've significantly increased the amount of data that's available in the app. So previously, we only really showed some basic fundamental data about a stock, like 52-week high, 52-week low and price. We've now significantly increased that to over 90 pieces of data and that data ranges from valuation ratios, um, historical price data, and we're even pulling through balance sheets, cash flow statements, P&L statements, and finally uh, ESG, which we're gonna touch later. And we also show all the personnel in the company. So those key senior management, so you can see who's guiding those companies. Um, We also um, incorporated our, uh, as James, the AI, we uh, analyze around about 250 different sources of news as well as feeds from social media so all that news articles that we digest we've actually now incorporated that into the application and customers can then go through that news and filter what they want to see because it might be a specific stock it might be a specific market and really customize that news feed so they're getting the current news that the user wants to read well, and finally what to do with machine learning isn't it Yes, exactly. So what we're doing is really, we've got all this information here and we're just increasing and sharing that with our customers. Now, Tui, is this fair to say that it's mainly focusing on traditional stocks or could this also be used, for example, in crypto trading? Um, It's funny you say that. Yes, it can be used across cryptocurrencies and currencies uh, in general. We could almost look at um, commodities as well. At the moment, though, we are just solely focused on equities uh, in the foreseeable future. But we are actually doing some uh, some research and investigation about doing using other asset classes. But we haven't made a decision yet if we're going to incorporate that into the future. Yeah, fair enough. Well, what would be some of those short term plans then for the app? I know you've just released the 2.0 version, but is there any more tinkering you can see happening, say, in the next six months? Uh, yeah, so we've got a big release coming actually at the end of this month, which is only a few weeks away. And the first one is that we're launching uh, ETFs by James. So effectively, customers will be able to diversify the James algorithm using ETFs. So within uh, James, how it works is say if you have, I don't know, $100,000 in your broker account, you allocate to James what percentage of that you want to use. Um, from then, The next step for us is that you'll be able to go, okay, so of the allocation, I might allocate 50% to these two or three ETFs. And so James will buy those ETFs for you and then allocate the rest of those funds to the algorithm. So we're pretty excited about that release because it's allowing our customers to diversify further, which we know is a key investing strategy. One thing you mentioned was how it pulls a lot of information from news feeds and what's trending online. One trend we've certainly noticed in society recently is a push, I suppose, towards the 
conscious consumer and businesses also looking to go more environmentally friendly. Governments also pushing policies that do the same kind of things too. So how would you say your smart portfolio is offering, helping clients uh, in that space? Is it looking at investing in things like EV stocks and, and green technology? Yes, yeah, so we've been working on quite a big project internally, which we're um, aiming to launch at the end of this month as well. Uh, we've already launched the first stage of that, uh, and that was linking in Sustainalytics data to give our customers really thorough information, ESG-related information. So with that, we identify uh, some you know, ESG risk sectors like coal, nuclear, palm oil, and we make our users aware that those companies might trade in that area and then we also have ratings of how they are meeting their ESG requirements and then we benchmark that against their peers so we identify if they're overperformance, underperforming or average performing and so the next step for us at the end of this month is that we're actually incorporating that information into our smart portfolio so our customers will be able to customize the trades that James opens for them by excluding ESG risk sectors like coal stocks, for an example, which we know our customers are really passionate about. But they will also be able to go, hey, all the companies that are underperforming the ESG requirements, I don't want to invest in that. And we're actually seeing that trend at the moment that customers are really focused on where their money's going and they want to do their part to meet our, obviously, our ESG requirements as society. No, you're 100% right. I think there was a, an article the other week that suggested 42% uh, of people between the ages of, I think, 18 and 40 over in the UK were suggesting they would be happy to earn less income from their investments if it meant it was going to, to greener stocks. So there is definitely a shift in that respect. One thing you also mentioned was the concept of peers. Well, let's focus on the peers of James itself. Who do you see as some of the competitors in what you do? And, and are there any direct competitors with this sort of artificial intelligence method of trading? So we're actually not seeing any direct competitors in the market today. However, we do know that they're emerging in different asset types. So especially in the States, I think there's some an AI options trader. Um, we're seeing some more algorithmic trading platforms come, come to market as well. But no one's really sort of taking the approach that we are. And when we built James, we really want to focus around the customer and the customer having control. Mm. So essentially what James is, we're actually a, a robo-advisor, a managed portfolio and a brokering services. And by uh, combining those three services into one platform, not only are we uh, providing an, an uh, excellent uh, offering for our customers but we're actually giving them the three things that they want which is liquidity we're mm. saving them time and uh, we're giving them peace of mind and control because they've actually got complete control of their funds so as you know with a managed fund you have to do your own DD you hand over your money and then the money is actually not held in your custody and the beauty of James is that you get all those uh, manage portfolio tools, but you have complete control of that money because it's in your broker account. So if you want money out of James right now, you log into your broker account and you withdraw the money. So there's no hold up of money. There's no insecurity about where your money is because you've got complete control all the time. Well, let's touch on security there because that's obviously a big thing for most people is privacy of data, making sure any information, whether it be money or otherwise, is extremely secure. How do you ensure that that's the case? Is there blockchain technology at play or what, what's the go? No, so we don't use blockchain technology, um, but what we do is we work it really closely with our broker partners. So um, our brokers at the moment are Saxo Markets, Interactive Brokers. Uh, CMC markets and we actually have a really close relationship with their security and engineering team. So not only are they sort of having a tight security measures on their end with their cash, but we're actually replicating and working with them to make sure our security complements theirs. So it's like having two companies behind your money in your portfolios maintaining security at all times. Wonderful. Now you've already mentioned time and flexibility as two key advantages of using James, but why should any trader decide to go with your platform? Um, well, I think as now, like we're, everyone's more conscious about how we're investing. Obviously we touched on ESG, 
but there's also, you know, I think as as we've grown, the old 60-40 strategy is no longer relevant in today's society. So we need to start looking at different investment strategies to diversify our overall investment mix. And AI technology is only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger in this space and it's going to become part of our daily investing. So to what I say to investors, it's time to start to really start thinking about these different strategies like what we're offering and start having some exposure to that because you don't want to be all weighted in your traditional 60-40. You don't want to be all weighted in just one hedge fund as an example. You need to have diversification and James's AI strategy needs to be part of that conversation now. And that's probably the biggest you know, key selling point and what we're getting a lot of pickup from. So a lot of self-managed super funds are, are coming our way at the moment because you know generally they have a lot of exposure in property or they'll go high div shares but now they're looking for you know what else what other exposure can we get and we're really fitting that mark for them now too is there any final thoughts you'd like to offer to our viewers and also where can we find james uh sure so uh james is available uh on the apple store and you can also go to our website jamesapp.com uh, we're pleased to say that we have an Android app launching next week, so it will be available on the Android phone. And uh, we're also moving into uh, a desktop version soon, so we're actually only available on the mobile device. And the whole idea was that of that was to be able to manage your portfolio on the go. But you know, we've listened to our customers, and they some want a desktop web version, so we have that coming uh, in the next couple of months as well. And uh, James, AI investing, you know, it's never too late to get in. Um, and, you know, we, with James too, we have a freemium offer as well as a 14 day trial on our smart portfolio product. And then you can also connect a paper trading account of $100,000. So you're not trading with real money. So you can actually just see James work. So there's really nothing holding you back to actually looking at this type of, this, this type of technology. Absolutely. It's a really interesting space and it's a fantastic product you developed. Tui, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's Tui Eduera, the founder and CEO of James, and it's been terrific to hear how the company is progressing. I'm James Preston reminding you to stay apprised and invest wise with CalKite.